Gina in for Ellen, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada's done this show more times than you have, Gina. <laughs> she has. She Just has. so you know. Can you can you tell everyone how beautiful she is? Yes, everyone. Aww. She's beautiful. <laughs> like she you. walks in and like a glow, and I'm not just kissing your butt. Like she walks in, and it's like whoa, that's a superstar. Well, let me right? tell you oh, something. Wow, thank yeah. you. It's the way she's done her lipstick that <laughs> makes her a superstar. Because that's bright red lipstick, and it's yes. not on your teeth. No. And that that is the takes sign a of that's a, a trick. Mm-hmm. That's a trick. Yes, it that's is. That's a trick. Uh, yes, she. This I, trust me, I've been down this path with her. I've I've Uh-oh. I've I've groveled before. Oh, sorry. This is my first <laughs> time I've ever met her. So she walks in, and it's beautiful. Do you know the trick though? By the way, to keep your lipstick off your teeth? If I did, I wouldn't say I do. <laughs> <laughs> but you do, you do. What is it? I don't. Um, while my makeup, when I get my makeup done, she says to put your finger in your mouth uh-huh. and go like that. I suck mm-hmm. it. Lick yeah, it, so right. lick it, and then it will take off the lipstick that's right in the middle of your lips, and so it doesn't get do on your teeth. you know that, Jada? Mm-hmm. That, that's a common thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's common. That looks like something you shouldn't do around people, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. for sure. So a couple things here. First of all, uh, thank you for coming in. No, thank you for having me. I love your energy in studio. Thank you. As always. Um, Magic Mike XXL. Yes. This is like, everyone's been talking about this movie for so many months. Yeah. And it's a it's a, such a, a big movie. Now, we have not had a chance to see it because okay. they they kept it highly guarded. Right. Right. It's like a big deal. They don't want any, any <laughs> leaks or anything on this thing. So I can only live vicariously through clips and such. But from what I'm told, the role that you have is the greatest role. Really? Yeah, it's the greatest Mm -hmm. because you... That's awesome. I heard it's so fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know it was originally written for a guy. That's what's even most interesting about it. Because because you own the Mail Review Club or you run it? Yep, I run it and... (laughs) That's the best. Yes, and you know, Channing comes my way to ask for a little help. Uh Uh-huh. You know. Are you the the boss of all these guys? Well, I wouldn't say the boss. I would say... Uh, a facilitator. A facilitator. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. And the are, booker, the planner, the organizer. You, when you say facilitate in the context of this movie, I need definition. Well, what does you that know, mean? It's just like, you know, she offers her um, service in helping them put a great show together. Uh-huh. That's what she does. She's like the ringleader. Mm. How does so how does this go from potentially being a, a male role into you getting this this gig? I keep asking Channing the same question. Because Channing's I, he, the he, he, he is this his this is his deal. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. And I'm you you know, I keep asking him, what in the world, Chad, <laughs> it made you call me? You know, but it all worked out. It really did. And uh, they were all so, you know, Stephen and Greg and Reed and Channing were right. all so cool and just allowing me to just create this fantastic do, do, role. Do, is, is your character influenced by the sexiness of the physique and aesthetics of these boys? <laughs> um, I would say that's a definite yes. 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 And so do Big you... time. I mean, that's part of my characters. You know, that's she kind of looks at eroticism and sensuality as, as a religion. Uh-huh. So she really has this kind of beautiful worship of beauty right. in men and women alike. And who do you cross-pollinate with in the movie? <laughs> I don't much cross pollinate. That's what I'm trying to get to. But to the here. back story is that Channing and I did do some cross pollinating, you know, no. in the past. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Channing wait. and you? Yeah. Wait, in real no. life? Oh, no. no, no, no. Channing. You mean, in the movie. I'm like, hold on. Whoa, 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 you and Channing whoa. cross pollinated before Will? <laughs> no one told me that. No, That's exactly where like, my mind went to. Yes. Okay, your character. Ca- yes, our character. I'm glad we cleaned that up. I Thank you. Please. We were wishing. I think that that was true. No, I wasn't wishing that at all. I didn't want that to happen on my show. Oh, uh, I don't want to be the guy in the middle of that quote. All. But yeah, we have some history. So when he comes to me, you know, it's kind right. of tense at first. Yeah. Oh, I just, it seems like so much fun. And they were telling me that you had, um, you had a very difficult time keeping your beautifully done nails off of Bomer. Oh, I did. I was so glad that he didn't sue me for sexual harassment. <laughs> I really was. Because every time I saw Matt, you know, my first thing is I put my hand on his chest and rub his chest and say, hey, Matt. And I realized, I was like, now, if he did that to me, it'd be a <laughs> right? problem. And so I really had to, I had to take a day and apologize. I was like, you know, I realize every time I see you, I touch your chest. And that's just not right. Right. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. And he was cool with it. He yeah. was. On, on the set, how much oil was put on their bodies for the women? We and was it coconut oil? Because I like cooking. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you a funny story. I remember coming on the set of of the the club that I own for the first time, and you see all of the the uh, the makeup artists. They're just greasing down all these guys, right? Right. Awesome. And I just wasn't expecting it. And I walked in, and my knee buckled. Oh, sure. <laughs> my knee literally <laughs> buckled. I had never had that kind of reaction before mm-hmm. to such physical beauty. Cartilage stiffens yeah. in those situations. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but it was something else. It really was. 
was. It was amazing. Does a woman actually like for a man to strip and dance for her in real life? Hate him. Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I don't think that goes me over. Me personally, well. me personally. No, no, I think just, most women. Yeah. Come on, in real life, you don't like a lap Tatum dance. Do it. Right, it right, all right. Channing and Twitch. Come on, <laughs> and Michael Strahan, mind you, who oh, he can pretend man. like he's only had a career in football if he wants to. <laughs>